everyone, I'm here with my daily video and I'm sorry that I'm a little low in energy today. It's been a really, really long and hard day. I had like a morning full of meetings and some of them were really, really tough. Actually, morning into like the later part of the day, I just had meetings all day long and um, just a little bit of background, like I do a lot of things for work, but one of the things that I am trying to do as a part of my work is to do um, victims advocacy and like kind of victims rights kind of work. Um, it's something that I've wanted to do for a really, really long time, just a little bit as like community outreach, but the difficult thing about doing that kind of work is you are faced with all sorts of kind of harsh realities um, and disappointments on behalf of other people that you would just rather not have to deal with. And so it can be very, very troubling and disheartening kind of work. Um, I mean, it's just, it's, it's a field of service and um, it's not easy work to get into just because, I mean, nobody really wants to do it. <laughs> but I know that just from my own life experience and everything, um, some of the work that I've done professionally in the past, it's, it's work that I just really, really wanna do. I have the heart to do it. And so as a part of just like, my work from home life and me feeling like I just really want to give back and especially um, help in ways that I know that I can help others um, like that's kind of like what I do for work sometimes and it's it really really challenges me like in huge huge ways and planning helps helps me with with like what I do but um, it's been hard kind of trying to to work in this sort of field and um, on days like this when I'm just like really really drained um, it, it's harder even to do like a daily video. So, but, um, to be quite honest, doing daily videos, it's helped me a lot just in my transition from being a classroom teacher and like being a work outside of the home mom to being like a homeschool mom and like a work from home mom. So, um, I look forward to doing the daily videos and hanging out with you here online, but, um, I always want to be just really honest with you and just like kind of give you me authentically So that's even why I kind of told you any of this. I mean you technically you don't need to know this But like I said, I don't know like if you know me on in my non YouTube life I try my best just to always be like really forthright and honest and so um, and and not like put on any front so I'm not doing that I'm never gonna do that and uh, so yeah, so Really 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 tough day for me Really tough day, but I'm at the end of the day, and um, quite serendipitously, um, I got a Happy Mail delivery today that was really, really exciting. I just had to close the box, sorry, but um, I got this right here, which is um, from a planner friend of mine um, in the planner community, and um, her name is Christina, and she is the originator of this kind of planner subscription box called Creative Mercantile, um, and I don't... I don't subscribe to this subscription box, but I just know Christina and, and her kind of like, um, her business of doing like planner subscription box just from knowing her from within the planner community and especially just like on Instagram. And I love her style and I love just like the simplicity of her design and like the way that she curates a box. So we decided to do a little bit of a swap. So it's, it's really, really lovely that <laughs> that um, what she sent me showed up on today, a day that was just really, really hard for me. So um, this is gonna be an unboxing, and I don't normally do unboxings just because I don't have a lot of money, so I don't like buy a whole lot of stuff. I just try and, you know, have what I have and have that be enough. It's like a saying that we have in our house. So um, it was really nice for, Christi for Christina of Creative Mercantile to send this my way and for it to show up on today, a day when I like really needed to kind of like have some happy mail when I otherwise wouldn't be getting it at all. So if you would like to see a little bit inside of like this subscription box that maybe you've never heard of called Creative Mercantile from Christina, um, then stick around for the video and I will unbox it with you. And um, you can see kind of like what's inside and if you are interested in like a planner subscription box maybe this is one that you'll want to consider after seeing me unbox this one so stick around for the video and we will uh take a look at it together and um maybe have some happiness kind of snail mail revolution style uh much needed at least much needed for me so let's go ahead and watch that video So I did um, 
I did cut the seal on the box just so I could make sure that there was no like personal information or anything from Christina because like I said um, I I know her at least by way of just her being in the planner community like another planner girl and um, I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to be kind of revealing anything that didn't need to be revealed so um, all I did was just cut the tape here but the company the name of the subscription box is called creative mercantile and like i said I, I would never like promote or share anything that i don't wholeheartedly believe on this channel so yes christina did give this to me in a swap meaning like she sent me something and i you know i'm working on sending her something because i'm trying to do something custom and like really special because this is my first swap with her so um so this is what she she sent me so let's go ahead and pop this open and take a look at what's inside so when you open the box um, there is a little bit of a list of the contents that's taped on there with some cute washi tape that's like has suitcases on it and then it's really really nicely wrapped and then sealed here with um, a little bit of a like a paper seal or just like a logo and it's green and white polka dots which I think is really pretty I green is like one of my favorite colors along with like orange and purple so Let's take a look at what's in this box as a little bit of a preview. What is in this box? Sticker set, three sheets of it that are designed and created by Creative Mercantile, so that's Christina herself. A roller stamp by American Crafts. A small wood stamp by Hero Arts. Kindness by Emma Sticker Set. Bon Voyage washi tape, gold shaped paper clips, three of them from American Crafts. A small gray packaging tag, custom journal card, cards from Creative Mercantile. So it looks like Christina has designed quite a bit of this, which is exciting to me because, like I said, I kind of like her style um, and just like how she does planning. Oh yes, die cut, two of them. Two postcards from Amy Tangerine. These are mint cards so you can apply foil to them. That's kind of exciting. Um, and I like Amy Tangerine. Sticky notepad from Little B LLC. And then two clear, I'm sorry, three clear overlays from Becky Higgins LLC. And all are packaged in a blue and blue, yellow, and glassine treat bags. It's kind of fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this. And I'm gonna try, uh, I wanted to try and like not kind of rip the paper because I think it's kind of pretty. And I would just as well put it in some laminate, but I guess this is a little bit of fun. Ooh, look, there is a paper clip. Okay, so this is July's box here. And July ideas. So this is kind of nice and clever that it, this is a full color kind of cardstock, um, and you get a little paper clip here that looks like it's a little piece of candy. That's kind of cute. July's ideas, foil up your postcards. The cards in the kit are great right out of the box, but you can kick them up a notch by adding some sparkle. Both of the postcards can be foiled and the titles are toner based so you can use a mink or another lamination tool to apply heat reactive foil. And then she gives some tips on how you do that. I've never done that before, so maybe that's something that I can do a video on and we can try that. And then she writes a little more personal note. I can't believe it's July 2016 is flying by. This is my favorite time of the year. Kids are in the park. We're going to camp. Road trips and vac vacations are happening. S'mores are being made. Sounds good, right? In the July box, you will find goodies to celebrate the season. They are curated for you to use in your planner, scrapbooks, traveler's notebook, or other creative projects. On with the ideas. And then she talks about die cuts and how to use them. So die cuts I've mentioned before are kind of like ephemera. So that's kind of neat that she gives you ideas and pictures um, right off the bat of like how you can do some of the things and this must be this this uh, cute little um, um, paper clip here this must be one of the paper clips that's like listed up here so so there we go so let's take a look at this so here we go this is kind of fun this in here this might be a little bit hard for me to do one-handed so I'm gonna do my very best but it's fun to kind of like pop it open. Ah, here. Oh, look. So, how many? Let's see here. It said that there were three paper clips. So, it looks like you kind of get a bonus one. So, you have a page flag one, one that looks like another piece of candy, and then a flower. That's really cute. I think that those are nice. And they're just such clean design and just fun and just like popular kind of shapes. And definitely, I feel like, works for July, the month of July. What is that? Ooh, this is wonderful because I love stamps. So this is a rolling stamp here and it has phrases on it. It's hard for me to see what all the phrases so it says party all night. I'm trying to read it backwards. Focus on the happy. Always remember this one that says make 
something beautiful. Um, tell my story, be happy, make it happen. There's one in the middle there that I'm having a hard time reading, but it's in script font. But anyway, so this is a rolling stamp. Oh, and this is a really, really nice one. Like the tension on it is really nice. So it won't shift around when you're like, I can't even do that one handed, which is a good thing. There we go. So this is good for just, that's really nice and really sweet. I like that a lot. You guys know how much I enjoy doing stamps. And here is from Little B um, Stationery Company, LLC. That's really cute. So this looks like a piece of like torn notepad paper with a red thumbtack. And I just think that that's really, really cute. It's die cut. And like I said, I, I always appreciate like Christina and Creative Mercantile. She shares um, kind of what like her planning style, and this really reflects her planning style, which is really straightforward and just clean design and just really fresh. She uses the Happy Planner in like the signature size, so I appreciate that. So this is called a glassine bag, if you've never heard of that. It's a classic like candy store, like classic candy store sort of packaging, which I like. I like that kind of nostalgia. So this is some ephemera or just some like die cuts. Oh yes. And oh yes. So you can use a glue stick, I believe, because these are not adhesive on the back. That's really nice. And then we have some journaling cards with um, a camera on it. And then one that says adventures. Again, very just clean and just fun design that you could just punch or just washi tape right into your planner. That's really cute. I like that a lot. So then we have this wooden block stamp, which is really cute. It says off we go. Let me see if I can, there we go. And it's just a rubber stamp. I have a bunch of rubber stamps that are just really fun that I've just kind of amassed over the years. A lot of them are teacher kind of ones. And so I think I'm gonna try and start incorporating that into my stamping. So um, that's really cute. I like that a lot. Um, here is washi tape. And I did kind of pop this open just kind of off camera because um, it would have been hard for me to do just one handed, but this is really cute washi tape. It's actually the same washi tape that she used up here. So let me just open this up. This is suitcase washi tape. It's like vintage suitcases. And I love washi tape, especially travel themed stuff. And I love suitcases. Like it's just really fun and cute washi tape. So that's kind of fun. And this will definitely kind of go in with uh, like kind of happy mail stuff that I do, doing like washi samples, sharing them with just like my planner friends. So, so that's great. And then we have Two envelopes. This is fun. What, these are really cool designs in this bag. Okay, so these are stickers. It looks like. Let's see if I can pull these out of here. Ooh, these are fun. These are ones that looks like she designed. Let's see if I can do this. Here we go. Oh wow. What great colors. So she designed some. Um, there's a giant arrow. Um, just really clean shapes, huge page flags that look like full box. So those, those will look great in the full size happy planner that I'm doing, like the white space planning. And then just more travel themed ones. I love the colors that she picked. These will be great for fall. And then we have, um, exit now Jillville, paradise on life, drink it up. Fabulous life. One big adventure, um, sail away, let's go. So it looks like these were done by Emma. That's really neat. That'll be great for even for some journaling, like the one that I, I last did. And then we have like some washi st sticker strips. Ooh, the sunglasses are really cool. Cameras, some kind of map, kind of uh, points, I guess, or I don't know what you call them. Some page flags, who doesn't love page flags? Um, and then let's hit the road with a stack of suitcases. And these are just really simple, just fun designs, I feel like. And I just love the colors. I mean, I like girly stuff, but like I said, I really like um, secondary colors, which are like purple, green, and orange, so this is right up my alley. This is cool. And then the last item we have here is, let's see, this worked out last time. Oh, neat. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, wow. What cool postcards. That's really cool. It looks, it's a photograph and then it has script font on it. And then we have a piece of paper that just looks like it's just packaging, but I would just as well use that. 
Oh, this is great. Isn't that just lovely? I agree. <laughs> I agree. That's really great. And I love the font and the photographs. I wonder if Christina took these photographs herself. I'm going to have to ask her because that's kind of a cool idea. That's really neat. And then these are really neat. We have like a tag. That's fun. I've seen her use things like this in her planner. So I'm kind of excited to like get this and maybe put some planner stickers on it and just try and use it in my own planner. And then these here, which are, um, these are like clear, almost like a frame. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to think of some creative way to like use this, choose joy. Always, always choose joy. I firmly believe in that. And then this one that, um, ooh, there's two there. It's like a photo overlay. So this would be great for like scrapbooking or it's hard to see because it's again clear. And then it has like a frosted kind of a graphic on there. And then this is the frame. Love this photo. Oh, this is just great. Wow, I'm so excited about this box. Um, this Happy Mail came just on the right day and it has so many cool things that I feel like are, are really unique just to, um, just to have. Like I've never seen any kind of subscription box kind of like this. So that's cool and exciting. Thank you so much Creative Mercantile and Christina and I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing. I really hope you enjoyed that unboxing. I know it's like not my usual of like doing a little bit of a creative exercise or something, but I do like to highlight other people in the planner community, like other planner girls and things, people that I've just really connected with and think that they do cool things in their planner. And um, like I said, I was, I, I didn't, I didn't purchase this. Like she didn't even send this to me necessarily for like review. Like she didn't say, could you please do this? kind of on um, one of your daily videos or anything. It was nothing like that. It's just something that I really wanted to do. I do something called the planner sticker love down, which is just kind of like a fun th sort of thing. So um, I just, and today being just the challenging day that it was, I just kind of felt like I needed to do something a little bit more lighthearted and might be kind of fun. I feel like I like watching unboxings, especially of like kind of um, subscription, subscription boxes. And this is one that I haven't seen a whole lot of people um, like unbox like so I thought that it might be fun to do that and I really really appreciate um, just the things that um, Christina shared with me and I'm excited also to kind of put together like curate kind of my own special like spin on just like sending her some happy mail after after receiving this from her it was so sweet of her and so I'm really excited just myself to like return in kind to her so so I hope you enjoyed this video um, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what I'm going to do for the videos for this weekend, but I definitely do uh, like have full intention and plans to do planner videos. Uh, just because I have a little bit of my, my daughter went to go and hang out with my, my parents um, just because they know lately, um, both my parents and my husband actually know just how much I've been working lately and like that I just need a break sometimes like doing the homeschool thing and just like the work from home mom thing. Everybody needs a little bit of a break. so. Um, I definitely am still going to do a video just because I do want to do some planner stuff. It's a way for me to just kind of like decompress and maybe do some art stuff. Maybe do like, um, show you how to make the best popcorn in the world recipe <laughs> that, um, I kind of shared a little bit, just like a little bit on my Instagram and, um, another planner girl in the planner community was like, I'm really excited to see that. It's really easy to make this popcorn, but it's like the best popcorn in the world. So... Um, so I'm looking forward to sharing all of that with you, and um, thank you so much for just bearing with me today with as low energy as I am. I'm going to have days like this, just like anybody else will, and so, yeah, but thanks so much for hanging out with me today online and for bearing with me and for enjoying the happy mail from Christina, Creative Mercantile, and I will leave um, all of the information for Creative Mercantile, like how you can kind of connect with Christina if you're interested in, like, um trying out her subscription box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it. And I will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's daily video. And I will try and have a lot more energy and also um, do something kind of like fun. So um, as I always try and do, so try and recoup. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching it. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.